Biden gave that speech last week. He's like, uh, by May 1, I don't know why he kept saying May 1. By May 1, everyone will be will be vaccinated. And all I could think of was uh was was Jonathan Colton. The first of May, first of May, outdoor night starts today. That's all I could think of. It just I find that song annoying for reasons I can't articulate. <laughs> You ever have you ever had like you hear a song and there's nothing wrong with it? Yeah, but for some reason it just fucking annoys you. Yes, that has happened to me. Like he seems like a good guy. Oh, he's a good guy. He is a very good guy. There's nothing wrong him. with the song, he's but I'm just good. like, oh, here we go. I don't know. Uh, anyway, <gasps> what? We should have Leprechaun Mister Met on. For spring training slash St. Patrick's Day. Yes, I have a leprechaun, Mr. May, because that's who I am as a person. It was a limited edition. I have number 86 out of 150, and I was very jazzed that I got 86, because that's the year the Mets won the World Series. Um, And it's been very depressing since then. Much like the collection of plates from the Franklin Mint, I'm not, I don't think that's actually going to increase in value. I don't care. All my Funko Pops out of the boxes, I don't give a f***. I don't buy stuff to sit on it and resell it in 10 years. I buy stuff because I like it. Sometimes I think about what's going to happen when I die and people are going to have to deal with my stuff. I think it's going to be a little weird. Anyway, it is time. Shall we? Uh, shall we can get the uh, the nonsense underway? Because holy crap, this is not like exactly entirely a bad week. It's just like shit was just falling from the sky. It was not hard to put this list together. That's that's what it's not. Not anything here is really specific. There's one. Well, actually, there's one spectacularly bad one this week. But there's also just this general aura of stupid. Just of was, madness. It was like Mike, Mike, I do not have a leprechaun hippo. And if you find one, let me know. Yeah. You ever go out, you ever got, you ever go out picking berries and you just pull on them. And instead of having to like really tug on them, they all just fall off into your hand. No, that's, that's kind of what this is like this week. <laughs> they all okay. just, they're just all right there. Let's get the intro going. Each week, Catherine. Radio Dead Air audience, go out in the worldwide interwebs, find all sorts of horrible stuff, bring back here for a little segment we like to call, What the Fuck is Wrong with You? And, okay, look, people love the kids, right? They want to do great shit for the kids, they want, they want to help the kids. People love the kids. I respect this. Okay, you love your kids, great. But, sometimes you can't do the thing for your kids. Sometimes it's because you can't afford it. And sometimes it's because it's very fucking illegal. Um, this is from Pasco, Washington. Stolen playground slide found in child's bedroom. When a 400 pound playground slide went missing, police had to find out where they went. Imagine when their investigation led to the bedroom of a child. In mid-December, someone cut the slide from a playground in Burbank, Washington. But an investigation into stolen catalytic converters gave officials the break they needed to crack the case of the missing slide. What? Catalytic converter? Like, what? What do you mean, what? Just, you know, we have the stolen slide. Yeah. We went looking for catalytic converters. Like, And they, yeah, and the police said they found a potential suspect and got a warrant to search his property. Officers said they found the missing car parts as well as the slide. The missing slide had been installed on a bunk bed inside the child's room in Pasco, Washington. The slide had been repainted. I mean, while that is objectively cool, (laughs) how did nobody notice you saw it off and stole a 400 pound slide? (laughs) Look, look, just because... The like, there's no vehicle you can just hide that in. No. How did you pull this off? Very, very blatantly, I feel. Pass 
Glasgow Parks and Rec recovered the slime. Am I the only one picturing Leslie Nope? Yeah, that's what I was <laughs> Like that sounds like a Parks and Rec. Episode. Right, like hunting down the stolen slide. Right, with with like spray paint in the front of the house. You've been jammed. Yeah, like for for the for fuck's sake. I mean, I'm pretty sure this is the kind of dude. Just by the fact he's, he's stealing catalytic converters and a playground slide, this is the kind of dude you just sort of like. He's there in your neighborhood, and you're just like, "Oh Christ, just, just fucking don't, don't make eye contact, just fuck sake." Yeah. yeah, this is that dude. This is the one where you're just like, th- "There's one in every neighborhood." You don't talk to him, you don't wave to him. You're just like, wait for him to either die or 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 get arrested. Like it would probably have been easier to build a slide for your kid's bed, right? It would have probably been less effort. We, you know what? We needed a dog, a dog ramp for Loki because he's starting to have trouble climbing stairs. You know what I did? What a fucking Craigslist! Do you not know how to build a slide? Guess what? You go down to uh, any hardware store and you ask the staff, and they'll hook you up with contractors. Someone will build that fucking slide for you. Yeah, for a reasonable fee. I, I, I no. Because you're right, with all the effort this must have taken. Yeah, it would have been easier to just build the damn thing. <sighs> the picture looks... And you stole the slide from the other kids, too. That's that's the shitty part. Yeah. Like, you're a jerk. <laughs> Although you know what happened that morning. Like, a six-year-old ran up the, ran up the stairs expecting the slide to be there just like whoop and then, and just nothing in thin air like wily e. coyote did just whoop. just running in place <laughs> uh well we've got more shenanigans with uh illegal goods like i don't th- there are these people who cross their legitimate businesses with crime and i don't get it because most of the time, these these legitimate businesses are doing okay, but they have to decide. No, no, we're going to take that step, be, that one step beyond. It's from Chicago, man pleads guilty to possessing two dozen illegal guns sold out of his popular Chicago food truck. Terry Ferguson's popular food truck was known for its Chicago-style deli sandwiches piled high with cuts of salami, roast beef, turkey, and cheese. That's not all Ferguson was selling out of Chicago's finest deli on wheels. On Friday, Ferguson pled guilty to narcotics and gun trafficking charges uh, that include the sale of two dozen guns from the back of the food truck, a transaction captured on video by an undercover agent of the U.S. Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, Firearms, and Explosives. Uh, Ferguson did not admit to being directly involved in the sale, but during the deal, Ferguson could be seen arriving in his pickup truck outside a Chicago residence, giving the key to the deli truck to an associate who later handed Ferguson a bag, a bag of cash from the undercover agent who was posing as a buyer. The cash of guns, which included 10 rifles, four shotguns, and an array of pistols, had allegedly been stolen by one of Ferguson's associates from a home in the uh, Canaryville neighborhood on Chicago's southwest side. Hold up! This all came from one dude's house? Wait, 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 wait. So those were illegal to begin with. Well, maybe, maybe not. Chicago has pretty tough gun laws. True, but it's it's a matter of you can you can own a gun. You just can't go on the street with the gun, walk around, you can't can't conceal the gun. You can just have the gun. It can just can't stay. You just can't take sell it, it out of a food truck. No, you can't sell it out of a food truck. Um, it, he, cocaine possession and possession of firearms by a felon. Jesus Christ. Dude, you, I mean, you're... Was, was the truck called like buns and ammo? <laughs> 
flavor to kill for. You've got a Chicago food truck. And as long as your food isn't make, making people shit themselves to death, you're making bank. Okay? Like, you you pick the... It's Chicago. There's millions of fucking people there. I know. I've been there. Pick a corner. Busy time of day. Boom. You got money. Why the fuck are you trying to sell stolen guns out of your fucking food truck? What makes you think you were the kind of criminal mastermind? You're, you're like Walt and Jesse first season Breaking Bad trying to sell this <laughs> shit. Sandwiches with a bang. No. Sorry. Ugh, cause you fucking stuff. How do you how do you develop that clientele? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for the burger and fries. You want an AR fifteen? Right. Uh, like I would like a, I'd like a pastrami on rye and a twenty two, please. Was there like a code? Yeah. Like was like, you know, a meatball sub a code for a fucking shotgun or something? I don't understand. Oh boy, this this there's Florida. Hello, Florida. You're here. You're up. Florida's up. This what is what we do without Florida. This is I think this is our mugshot for the week because damn this guy. <laughs> he is the look on his face says the, just tells the entire tale. Um Bonita Spring Mans pulls out dank gummies instead of ID for deputies. <laughs> Bonita Springs Man was arrested Monday after pulling out a package of dank gummies while searching for his ID for deputies. And yeah, that mugshot really does tell the story. Demicio Lopez, 40. Can I make this bigger? Yeah, let's let's because oh my. He's just, he's like, yes, there you go. Um, he's facing drug possession charges after witnesses called authorities to report the man had nearly hit a gas pump at the Circle K. This is this is how this is amazing amount of fucked up this guy was. Deputies found Lopez parked at a gas pump where the 40 year old asked for help calling AAA because his car wasn't starting. According to the arrest report, deputies told Lopez there was no key in the ignition. After some searching, the man found the keys in his pocket. That's an amazing. To be fair, <laughs> Dan does that once a week. <laughs> we get in the car, and his car has the keyless start. Well, this and he's week... hitting the button and hitting the button, and nothing's happening. And then he's like, "Oh fuck, my keys are still in the yeah, house." But this and is one I where I do have dank gummies. Well, well, this is one where the key needs to be in the ignition. Yeah, that that's a bit different. You can't just will the caller to start. Not not the oldie ones. Lopez was then asked for his driver's license while rummaging through his pockets. He pulled out a small package labeled Dank Gummies. He also pulled out a medicated nerds rope. Uh, the 40-year-old told deputies his girlfriend... Oh, like nerds like the candy? Yeah. Oh, wow. The 40-year-old told deputies his girlfriend has a medical marijuana card because of a cancer diagnosis. Mm-hmm. Deputy Search Lopez found he had a plastic bag of cocaine on him. Now look. Does she have a medical cocaine card? <laughs> Was she in the olden times and had a toothache? Right. Is she Wyatt Earp's wife? <laughs> Is she perhaps Sherlock Holmes? No. Mm -hmm. No. Had a package of cannabis-infused gummies with 500 milligrams of THC, a medicated nerd rope with 400 milligrams of THC, and a plastic bag with 27 grams of cocaine. <sighs> He's facing felony charges of cocaine possession, felony possession of controlled substance. Wait, we're not... It's going to be very soon. It's going to be... We're getting there. We, we've got some stubborn, stupid sons of bitches, but we're moving along. We, it's going to be legal. Not yet, though. Yeah. Keep your fucking head down. Look, none you of us... Just, you can't just carry that around. Right, and then... And you, you can't show up at the Circle K fucked up. No. Hit a gas pump and then be like, hey, can you help me? Because my car wants to... Oh, man. Like, 
<laughs> and that, 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 I swear that, that is the best mugshot. He's like, yeah, man, what yeah. the fuck? If you're going to do a bunch of illegal shit, try not to make such a spectacle of yourself. That, 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 that is a mugshot that says poppies. Fucking poppies. <laughs> That's what that one says. <laughs> Oh boy! That's the guy that tried to eat the whole stash. That's <laughs> Nosberry space like Nosberry. Marijuana is legal where I live, right? And I learned the hard way that the edibles are a lot stronger than no. the joints. No, they're not. They hit like <laughs> I can smoke the whole joint and I'm cool. I ate half of one of the gummies. I like. It hit me like a train. <laughs> These edibles ate. Whoa. Meanwhile, he smoked one joint and he almost died. Yeah. <laughs> but the edibles don't even affect him. So I don't know. Figure <sighs> out the delivery just, system I'm, that works for you. Yeah. We got this one. Oh, Simba. I don't know if you can see Simba back there behind the Charlie Brown Christmas tree. He's hiding. Did. Sometimes it's like people are trying to go to hell. And and this this is this this dude was like putting in the work. I got to say. Holy shit. X Mount Pleasant Church Township Church Treasurer accused of stealing $150,000 spending funds on porn site. Wow. Len E. Yothers, 56, of Unity, is charged with theft by deception and theft by unlawful taking connection with writing $150,606 to himself from accounts of St. Paul Lutheran Church, located in the village of Trauger. Uh, state police said the transactions occurred between 2015 and 2019. So, damn, he's been at this a while. The others who served as church treasurer for 12 years was initially approached about two years ago who were concerned that bills were not getting paid and deposits were not being made in a timely manner. At one point, utilities of the church were shut off and the church almost shut down due to the others not paying bills. When initially approached, about numerous checks written to himself, the others denied any wrongdoing, saying he was paying church bills from his personal bank account and simply, no, that's, that's not... Troopers reported the others who kept all the church financial records uh, was eventually removed as treasurer. Recent audit of the available financial rest records showed the others allegedly deposited $150,000 from church accounts to his personal account. When troopers questioned numerous payments he made from his credit card to a website, quote, flirt for free. The other no, side. that's ironic. The other said the do donations were not to an organized charity, but to, quote, individual people on the website. The others was asked if this is a pornographic website. The others confirmed it was. He got to know some of these people well enough. He was trying to help these people. Help. Here's the thing. Like, <clears throat> I help them take their clothes off. Maybe? I have no problem with sex work. No. If that's how you make your money, make that money. It's not charity. No. I have no problem with people paying sex workers. You should be paying them. I have no problem with you paying cam girls, whatever. But that's not a charity. You you don't pay. You, you're going to hell. Is what you the church's lights went out. I don't even think do Lutherans believe in hell? You're a Lutheran. Mm, okay. <laughs> well, I guess they're gonna drag that notion back up just for this dude. Maybe. They'll be like, that's Catholic bullshit. You get over there. <laughs> we, we have a whole lot of, we might be wrong. Yeah. And, how, and that weirds me out. How much porn are you buying, man? $150,000? Do you know how much free porn there is? Right. Look, they might not talk back to you, but come yeah. on. And that's what it, it sounds like more like cam girls than just straight up porn. Yeah. Also, and that's, I want, that's you gotta do that with your own money. What if the cam girl is named Charity? Still not. <laughs> Even if her middle name is five hundred one C, no, it doesn't count. Not tax deductible. I do want to point out that this website has very deceptive advertising. It's called Flirt for Free. 
and yet a hundred fifty thousand dollars into it. <laughs> I mean, I guess flirt for free. The rest we're gonna charge. Yeah, cause, cause damn, cause they, what the did, you, these people look? They 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 donate the money because they believe yeah. in their community church. I'm not even religious, and I, I can just appreciate this is they they want to keep their little community thing going. Yeah. I've been involved in community things that people pitch in to keep going because you know communities do that. You don't I, take it to whack off. Ooh. What the living piss? It's not okay. You're going to hell. I don't even believe in hell, and I think you're going there. You're certainly going to prison. Like when when you die, I want to like strap a GoPro to you because you might discover <laughs> hell. I want some photographic evidence of that shit because you're gonna find it. I don't, Lutherans, in my limited experience, are pretty like easygoing. Like yeah. maybe that's because I was raised very Catholic, but when I went to his church, I was like, "We're at a coffee shop." The Craze Bruce right. says he donated to charity, chastity, faith, and <laughs> Tiffany. So they're not really into the whole guilt thing, which yeah, is y'all are weird. To, yeah, like we went to each other's churches and we were both fucked up by the experience. Because I was like, why is everybody here so happy? You're at church. <laughs> I think for this one, they might make an exception. Maybe. So this this next one, this is the one this week where I just went. I appreciate as a parent, you are willing to do anything for your kids. That is part of, you know, the parent thing that that's what you do. But there is in fact a line and it's, it's, it's hard to find. I will admit it's difficult to find, but lady, you fucking found it. Cheerleaders mom created deep fake videos to allegedly harass her daughter's rivals. Rafaela Spone, I think that's Spone, uh, was charged with three counts of cyber harassment. Where's the mugshot? There's the mugshot. Um, a Pennsylvania mother allegedly sent deep fake videos, uh, deep fake photos and video of her teenage daughter cheerleaders rivals depicting them naked, drinking and smoking to their coaches in a bid to get them kicked off the team. Spone, 50, allegedly sent the manipulated photos and videos to at least three of her daughter's teammates and their coaches. She also anonymously sent messages to the victims, urging them to kill themselves. Whoa! Wow. She was arrested March 4th and is charged with three counts of cyber harassment of a child and three counts of harassment. There's no indication the high school-aged daughter knew what her mother was doing. One girl's parents contacted Hilltown Township saying the girl received harassing text messages from an anonymous number. The girl and her coaches were sent photos that appeared to depict her naked, drinking, and smoking a vape pen. Her parents told police they feared the videos could lead to her daughter being kicked off the team. Two more families came forward saying daughters received similar messages. Police determined the videos were deep fakes. Images were created by mapping the girl's social media photos onto other images. In the investigation, police traced... The phone numbers the girls received harassing messages from, which led them to a website that sells numbers to telemarketers. They followed the data to an IP address, which showed activity from Spony's Shelfont home. They searched her smartphone and found evidence linking her to the numbers used to send the text messages and images. Do you remember, I think it was in the 90s, there was a case, it was in Texas, like, there was some lady's daughter was trying to get uh -huh. on the cheerleading squad and she had the other girl fucking murdered. Or, well, I think she attempted it, like hired a hitman. I don't think yeah. she actually, actually went, but to like kill the other girl yeah. that was vying for this spot. Like people get fucked up about cheerleading, which I don't get high school I mean, ends. You can get scholarships for it. Eh, yeah. But, but This is this. All right. For one thing, if you're going to attempt to get someone, what was this black? What was she going to do? Blackmail them into quitting? No, no. Just send it the shit. Like, or get them kicked off the team. Right. If she just sent the shit to the coaches and not to the kids. Yeah. 
she probably would have gotten away with it. Probably. But yeah. no, she yeah. had to be that fucking ooky spooky, like doing that fucking shit from Scream. What's your favorite scary movie? What is she doing? Kind of <laughs> bullshit. <laughs> like, what the, what the crap? I mean, it, and like, what is that teaching your daughter about how to get ahead in the world? Not to be this stupid, that's for one thing. Like, the, the fact that, that she went to a website and, and purchased the number, yeah. and they, look, all right, and this even goes for y'all, Bitcoin, Ethereum, whatever, they can trace your shit. Yeah. If you're doing shit on the internet, somebody can track it. You ain't this whole don't buy in that seven proxies horse shit. That's a meme. That's a meme, bro. They go find you. There's some dude at the NSA. Who can crack it all? Because we've kind of let them run wild with this shit. So they will find your ass. You're not. You ain't. And also, why are you keeping evidence on your fucking phone? Yeah. What? They'll never get in here, motherfucker. So aside from just being completely inept at this, um, what the shit? Did you, you're going to put other kids through this shit? Kids, right. fucking kid, fucking kid, you're gonna fucking put the fucking kids in the what the fuck? But they're not like real people. They're not her kid. So they're not like people. They're people. Well, now, now, great. Now, now you're going to jail. You're yeah. not going to be there for graduation. Your, 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 your daughter your daughter is probably getting kicked off the squad. Yeah, and even if she didn't know, you you fucked it. You, you, you yeah. completely fucked it. You fucking idiot. I'll be proud. Fuck it. Who is sitting there taking the picture of an underage girl and and digitally mapping it on a fucking naked woman? And that's that's how you're spending your Saturday night. Yeah, that's what you're doing with your time. You ain't right, lady. You fucking ain't right. Our last one is just basically um there there there's a Yiddish word. And that word is we use it quite often here. It's it, that word is chutzpah. I like that word. Because it describes so adequately some of the shit we see on this show. And this this, my friends, is chutzpah. Um, Texas man drove dealership loaner car to rob bank, tried to use the loot to buy BMW. Oh my God. <laughs> Prosecutor said he drove a vehicle loaned to him by a car dealership to rob a bank in Texas, then brought the money back to try to use for a down payment on a BMW. That's kind of amazing. It is. Eric Dion Warren, who pled guilty to bank robbery, has been sentenced to 20 years in federal prison. According to court documents, it was during the summer of 2019 when Warren went to a bank in Wolf, Wolferth, Wolferth, I think that's, yeah, Wolferth, Texas, walked up to a teller, a 50-year-old, then put a bag from a fast food restaurant and a note on the counter. The note read, this is a fucking robbery. Pay, play with me and die. I want ten thousand in fifty and hundred dollar bills. Now you got one minute, or I will kill you. After showing to tell the note, Warren pulled out what looked like a handgun and said, "I ain't playing around. I only want hundreds and fifties." The teller gave Warren money from a drawer, including stacks of twenty dollar bills with recorded serial numbers. Wait, wait a second. He, well, already I don't think these people are very good at their jobs. No, I'm fucking right. Um, Warren, also, 10 grand isn't going to buy you that BMW. No, but it's a good down payment. No, 10 grand I, wouldn't buy me a Honda Fit. I know. Imagine, okay, you're robbing a bank to pay for a car, and all you're grabbing is the down payment. Right? You what? might as well ask for a hundred thou and pay off the car. What? Like, what are you doing? Warren later admit after getting the cash, he drove away in a vehicle that had been loaned to him by a car dealership. He'd been there earlier and was the process of finalizing the sale of a BMW. He said it was about it was about 15 minutes after the robbery when Warren went back to the dealership in the loan vehicle and began waving around cash. Literally. 
eventually went to the finance office and tried to finalize the purchase of the BMW with a $3,000 cash down payment. Things began to fall apart for the robber when an employee at the dealership got a call informing him about the recent bank robbery, all while Warren was still there. The employee, yeah, hmm? Having bought a car cash outright, no bank is just going to give you three grand. Like the hoops I had to jump through mm. to get a cashier's check out of money that was in my account. And I still had to wait seven days. Like you don't walk into a bank and they give you thousands of dollars, no. even if you can prove you have it. Mm. Like, so the fact that he left and came back with the money, like that's already shady. Warren arrested. He had more than $5,000 with him. And their serial numbers match those stolen from the bank. Police also found a painted pellet gun oh, resembling honey. a real handgun <laughs> when they arrested Warren. And I gotta say, this is one of the all-time greatest, well, I done fucked up. Look at that mugshot. Yeah. That's the... Yeah. Wah, 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 wah. You tried. I, Bless your heart. You know we what tried. he was thinking? Well, the car doesn't have a license plate. It just has a dealer's tag. Right. How are they going to trace me? Exactly. <laughs> it's the perfect crime. Except not really. Oh, bless your heart. Like, there was a little ambition here. Are but... you shaking something? No, that's Loki. Oh. <laughs> walking... That's Loki walking on the hardwood floor or on the, on the okay. laminate floor. Just... <laughs> Clip clopping along. Sounds like maracas. He needs his nails trimmed again, as he always does. No, it's it's Simba. How did? Lord bless your heart, son. And I say this; he's you older than I am. A whole amount, right? That's what I don't. I don't understand people who go to all this trouble to commit a crime and don't make it fucking worth it. Like, yeah, that, that's that's the first thing we learned this week. Go big or go home. Yeah. Like, if if you're going to do this, don't go back to the dealership. Just, if you're going to commit a bunch of felonies, don't be in debt when you're done. Gra grab yourself a million bucks, head to fucking Mexico, you're done. Find a, like, fi find a country without an extradition treaty. Your plan was to commit all these felonies and still have a car payment. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, I don't understand the logic there. Oh, for 10 grand, man. Um, we've learned that high school does end, yeah. but consequences are forever. Um, we've learned that if there is a hell, people are going to try and find it somehow. <laughs> this dude is on a fucking expedition. Jesus. Do you excommunicate people? Do Lutherans do that? No. Oh. You, can't get, you can't get like un-Lutheran? No. No, oh, because you can get un-Catholic. I mean, I mean, they'll give you like a dirty look or something, yeah. but you know. You won't be invited to the potluck. Oh. No, <laughs> no Lutherfisk for you. Like, you can get like un-Catholic. That's a thing they can do. Um, We've learned... You know, there it's not legal everywhere yet. No. Not yet. Just, Maybe don't drive around with all the drugs in the car while you're on them. <laughs> yeah, that's Sir, can I see your ID? Uh you got some gummies? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like candy. We learned if you already have a su a successful, legitimate business, maybe don't have had a felony. Yeah, maybe there? just quit while you're ahead. Well, well, don't just quit. Just keep doing the thing that's that's like right. not like completely just... fucking illegal. Be happy with what you got. And finally, this week we've learned while you may want to give your children everything, that doesn't mean you go and steal it. No. <laughs> like put the fucking slide on the bunk beds. What the shit was that? Cool idea, terrible execution. 
And you know, here's the thing. After like three or four days of waking up and sliding down the fucking slide, that kid's never going to use the goddamn slide again. <laughs> yeah, sure he will. That's where all their laundry will be. <laughs> like, we were just having this conversation today. Do you have like the limbo pile? Of like, I've worn this shirt like once and I don't need to wash it yet, but I don't want to fold it and put it back in the drawer. I have a big limbo pile. Dan is like, my limbo pile is like two things. And I'm like, well, aren't you fucking special? I think, so we're, I think we're out of time for tonight. So, um... <laughs>